everyone, it's Kaylee for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me. Today's loaf of soap is going to be made in pink berries and pineapple from Candle Supply. It has notes of pink berries, pineapple, sea salt, mandarin, jasmine and cyclamen and is on a base of cedarwood, musk and freesia. I'm really hoping with all those sort of floral scents that this isn't going to be a racer on me and that I can get some nice working time to get a couple of swirls through the soap but we'll wait and see. There's no vanilla in here so hopefully we won't get any discoloration either. I've been searching through all my soap making groups to see if I can find anyone who has used that um, oil and to get their reviews on it. Unfortunately I can't find any information so this will be a really good test and hopefully all goes well. I will be making it as a high top soap. I'll be making the base using Tuscan Sun as my base colour with adding some swirls in Blush Mica. Both of these are from My Mica Obsession and I have some water dispersible titanium dioxide just to add a few other highlights. I'll then be piping a top on this one and I have some little pineapple and pink berry embeds to go in. So we'll go and get this soap started. So in my bucket here I have my oils and here I have my lye water and some tassa silk. I'm going to pour my lye into my oils, give it a blend and split it off for the colours. in now just in case anything does happen once I add this fragrance oil in so I'm going to add it in and give it a, a hand stir now this looks like a bit of a mustard yellow at the moment but it does actually tone down a little bit once it's all saponified so I'm going to add some of my fragrance oil into the yellow and pour it in and we'll see what happens before adding in the pink and the white So I'm very pleased to say that that stayed nice and fluid for me. So what I'm going to now do is finish scraping out my bowls and then give it a good tap down and then I'll be back to do the piping. Okay, so I'm back to do the piping on the top. I have a Wilton 2D tip in here and I'm just going to go backwards and forwards and add some dollops. I did mix my piping up off camera. I was worried about how fast this fragrance oil would accelerate but I actually discovered it slowed down trace a fair bit so just in future I know that I've got plenty of working time so I can make a little bit more of an intricate swirl before it starts to turn but I did notice that once it did start to um, set up it did set up quite quickly so you do get that little bit of working time with this fragrance oil for anyone that wants to try it 
Now if you do want to see how I do my um, piping mix, I have done this in some of my previous videos. And when I, whenever I do my piping, it's generally the same oils that go into the base of my soap. But I found when I first started doing piping that it would look a little bit ricey as I was piping. So to combat this, I started putting about 2% beeswax into my recipe and dropped the coconut oil by 2%. And I found that it gave me a really nice piping consistency. And the piping always looked nice once it was done as well. So my piping will always have that little bit of beeswax in it. So it's going to go backwards and forwards and add to my piping. So I've got three little frilly dots across each bar of soap. And then we're going to build the layers up and then finish it off with some pineapple and pink berry embeds. So I don't actually want any glitter on my embed so before I pop those on I'm going to give this a quick spritz with some Blizzard Mica from My Mica Obsession which I've got in one of the Nurture Soaps glitter spray pumps because I do still want that little bit of glitter on the top. So I've got that on there. Now to do my embeds I have here which I've made out of some melt and pour. I have some little pineapples and I also have some little round pink balls which will be my pink berries so we'll go and get these put on. towards the end now you would have seen at the beginning there I hesitated about the way in which I wanted to put my pineapple on and it's because what I've noticed was when I'm cutting my soaps that the end of my soap um, always looks funny because there's no pretty pattern on the end of it when I put my pineapples on with my mold it's just over 17 inches long so I actually measured my first end bar from down this end and I've got like just over an an inch on this end so I can always trim it a little bit off this end to give me a nice pretty front to my bar so I was just working out which way I needed to put it in to make sure that I got a pretty front on my soap with the pineapple face in the right way so that's all the pineapples in and now I'm going to add in my little pink berries and I'm going to put two on each soap so we'll put one on each side So they're all stuck in there now. I'll bring you down for a closer look of this bar of soap. So here's a close up of the pink berries and pineapple. We'll leave this for about 24 hours and we'll come in on mould and have a look at what we've got on the inside later. Hi everyone, we're back to cut pink berries and pineapple. It smells beautiful and the pineapple smell is really coming through. The white on the top has gone a little bit yellow but that's okay because that kind of really suits the whole fragrance and smell. I'm going to cut the very end of this off first so we can get a pretty front on this piece of soap. Now, as you can see I've got my single bar cutter out today. I went to put it through on the multi bar cutter and I have put a couple of the pineapples in slightly the wrong place so we'll have to do each of these individually. And we're also doing a slightly different angle so that you could see a little bit better what I was doing. So 
Okay. That's the first one. Now you can see with this bar of soap as I went to push it out of my mould it was a little bit soft so I have indented it but that's okay, I can keep this piece. So we've got some really beautiful swirls through there. The pink is a nice vivid hot pink and the white just really complements the two colours and brings it all together. me make pineapple and pink berries if you've enjoyed watching the video please leave me a thumbs up and any questions and comments down below uh, if you haven't already please feel free sub to subscribe to the channel I try and bring a new video once every week um, and if you hit the subscribe and then the little bell it will let you know the next time I upload a video so thank you for watching and have a great week bye